Are you using mini chat to generate leads for your business? If so, this video is going to show you how to set up your mini chat account so that you can be collecting names, phone numbers, and uh, being able to use that to follow up with the leads that you're generating. Check this out. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Kevin Smolin. Uh, the channel is 2Q Lead Generation Strategies where we help real estate agents generate more leads for their business by teaching them a marketing and lead generation system for Facebook that will add two transactions to their production per month and take less than an hour of their time per week to do it. So uh, today, what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about mini chats specifically. So uh, if you've watched a lot of my uh, videos in the past, you know I'm a huge fan of mini chat, being able to have a, a conversation with people through Facebook uh, through Facebook Messenger, where it's these automated messages. And so the beauty of it is you can set up these automated messages. It's not taking your time to be interacting and following up. It just takes a little bit of setup. And with what I'm going to show you today, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll speed that up for you. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump right in. What I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you how to use ManyChat to um, be collecting uh, contact information for people. So specifically email and phone number. And uh, the way that we do this is really cool. And uh, I think you're gonna like it. So let me show you how this works. Uh, like I said, let me just uh, share my screen. And here we go. So I'm inside mini chat. This is a buyer lead sequence. Um, if you have seen uh, some of the other videos that I've done, then you'll know that this is a um, pretty similar to some of the things I've shown in the past. There's a few modifications here. And I'm going to be modifying a few other things now. If you don't have um, if you don't have a flow like this already set up, then I highly recommend um, just go ahead and downloading one. So in the comments section below, I'm going to be putting a link to where you can just download this flow. Uh, just click on that. Um, it's going to be fired through many chats. So just click get started, and you can use that to download this flow. So this is a flow <clears throat> that we would use to follow up with buyer leads. And so it's asking them if they wanna see the property that we were marketing, if not, we can help them find a, a list of other homes and it starts asking questions like, you know, when you're gonna be buying bed, bath, those kinds of, or you know, number of bedrooms, uh, location, those kinds of, of questions. And so <clears throat> once I've gotten that information from people, the next step is I want to get another piece of information or maybe even two to where I'm using that to uh, contact them to send the list, right? So I wanna use the email address as a way of, uh, as, as in this, you know, an excuse um, where I wanna send them the list. Could I send it to them in Messenger? Sure. But if they're willing to give me their email address, then I know that uh, that's a pretty serious lead. I can go one step further for them. Um, and so what I would do right here is in this message where it says, tell me what other details you're looking for. I can give you a custom list of homes. I would change that message and what I'm going to uh, change it to is I would change it to, um, now that I know what you are looking for, I am going to pull a list of homes that meet your needs and I will send it to send it to you. In fact, now that I think about it, I've got that in the wrong box. So to do what I'm going to show you, you need to have the pro account of ManyChat. Now, most of you, I'm guessing if you're using ManyChat, you probably have a subscriber base of less than 500 people. And if that's the case, then ManyChat's gonna cost a whopping 10 bucks a month. Uh, this is one of those features that in my opinion is well worth it. So um, I'm going to take that text that I just typed out. I'm going to put it right there. We're going to get rid of that. Yes. And so right here says, now that I know what you're looking for, I'm going to pull a list of homes that meet your needs and I will send it to you. What is the, um, is the email below the best, uh, email address for you. If so, just click on it. If not, just type it out below. 
Okay, so I'm saying, is the email below the best email address? So this free keyboard input, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, and I am going to set this to email. So I have this field set as email. Now there's gonna be, if they don't put in a valid email address, it's going to give them this message that says, please enter a correct email address. If you leave the skip uh, option here where you've got a button that says skip, then they can just click the button and skip this step. I don't wanna make it optional, so I'm gonna delete that. That way they have to answer this question. And then what I can do is I can take the email that they're responding and I can save it to a custom field. So I've already got a custom field that's created called email address, and that puts it into a field in their record called email address. And so with that, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and have uh, that do a new action, okay? And over here, that action is, I'm going to have that where uh, where it's going to add a tag and that tag is going to be, I've just got it set up as a buyer lead, right? And then from there, okay, and then from there what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another user input. And again, once they respond, then I would say, uh, perfect. Uh, also, just to make it easier to set up any showings on the homes you like, what is, uh, I would like to be able to call slash text to set up appointments for those you are interested in. I'm gonna get rid of uh, some of these tags just to make it a little easier. Okay, so I've got this free keyboard input, and then I'm gonna put is the phone number below, and then I'm just gonna copy some of this, because it's the same language. Is the phone number below the best phone number? for you. If so, just click on it. If not, just type out the address below. Okay. So with that, I've now got this message where it's going to be collecting a name and or a phone number. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a message that says, perfect. I will send over that list shortly. And so that's going to be uh, the final message that's going to happen right after this. And then what I would do is I would just put a little, in fact, I don't even need to do that as a separate message. I'll just get rid of that. And uh, just for facility or the ease of doing this, um, we'll put it right there. Perfect, I will send the um, list over to you shortly. And that works. So now I'm gonna publish that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the preview. And so in the preview, just gonna open up Messenger in the preview. And this is gonna open up that flow that we just created uh, so that you can see exactly how it's going to work. Okay, so I've got the uh, the message set up, right? Um, so here it is in Messenger. First, tell me about your needs. Great, that's how many bedrooms I want. Uh, when am I planning on moving in the next few months? Um, I own my home. What's the price range? Sure, that's great. Have I been pre-qualified? Yes, I have. 
And then it says, okay, I know you're, now that I know what you're looking for, uh, I'm going to pull a list of homes, meet your needs, I'll send it to you. So this is the part of the message sequence that we just edited, is email below the best email address for you. So see how it defaults to the email address that they have used for uh, setting, registering their messenger account. So again, they could either click on this button or they could come down here and type out an email address. So I'm just going to click on the email and then it's going to fire the next one. Perfect. Just to make it easier to set up any showings is the phone number below the best number. So again, this is going to be the phone number that they've used to set up their messenger account. Uh, and then again, they could always type it out below if it's not the best one. But once they click that, it's going to fire the next part, which is perfect. I will send the list over to you shortly. And so now with that, this information is going to be stored in their record. So I set up a custom field for the email address. I also, in a similar way, set up a custom field for the phone number. And uh, again, all that information is being stored in that contact record. So that is how you can use um, mini chat to set up and collect contact information. That way you can be using it to follow up on the leads that you're generating through ManyChat. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Again, you do need a pro account inside ManyChat to do this. The pro account has a lot of different features besides just these user defined fields, but these are some of the more valuable ones. So I highly recommend it. Um, again, it's 10 bucks a month. And if you're doing a message, you know, if you're doing marketing through mini chat, then this is going to be a, a well worth the investment in my opinion. So that is today's video on how to collect contact information through uh, mini chat. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If so, give us a like down below. That certainly helps us. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Just click the subscribe button uh, either here on the screen or down below. And uh, that way you'll, um, you'll receive new videos and new content as we put it out. As you subscribe, you can click the little bell icon. And what that bell icon does is it'll give you a notification every time we publish a new video. We do new videos like this every single week, and it's bringing you some of the best tips and strategies for generating leads on Facebook. So with that, thanks for being here. Make it a great week. We are almost to Christmas. Uh, today's the 19th as I'm recording this. So uh, Merry Christmas and hope you have a great uh, holiday with your family uh, and uh, make it a great week. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.